right out of it's right out of the playbook. The right out of the socialist playbook. You divide and conquer, you don't tell yep. them your intent, you get people to come in, you got your useful idiots, those of us who are paying lie for these people to have all these luxuries and, and they lie yep. about it. Yeah. How's it end? Well, How badly. It, end? <laughs> it ends badly for some. Um, okay, so on a serious note, um, you know, people of all faiths have said to me that this is a spiritual battle. I am a firm and solid and immovable believer in God. And I believe that God wins. I believe that good is greater than evil. And I believe that the fallen angel, otherwise known as Satan, doesn't get to prevail in this world. So um, if you follow the Bible or if you follow the Quran or you follow uh, the Book of Mormon, you know, people talk in various different ways about the end times. And if you fight for God, God will fight for you. But people, final, humanity... Final thought, Lara, what... Final thought, though. I have to, I have to ask you this, because my, my audience is, is very God-fearing, God-loving, etc. Final thought. I only a couple of seconds, please. Um, does Is God okay with a closed border? It's much bigger than that. God believes in that in, in sovereignty and national identity and the sanctity of family and all the things that we've lived with from the beginning of time. And he knows that the open border is Satan's way of taking control of the world through all of these uh, people who are his stooges and his, and his uh, servants. And they may think that they're going to become gods. That's what they tell us. You have Alnoa Harari and, and all the rest of them at the World Economic Forum. You know, the ones who want us eating insects, cockroaches and that while they dine uh, on the blood of children. <laughs> yeah. Those are the people, right? They're not yeah. going to win. We they're not going to win. Well.